we are going to make some pork sausage coils using a sausage recipe from 1915. So stay on this video and see how it's done. We're getting ready to batch some pork sausage and we have the little bits of meat left over from different scraps, a little piece of fat maybe from a pork loin, a little end of a steak, a little piece of roast and we're going to grind them up as the fat portion and we're going to use this pork butt as the lean portion and we'll see how that works. This recipe is from the J.D. Lynch Meat Market in Browns Valley, Minnesota and the picture is from 1915. The recipe also is derived from their recipe of 1915. When we cut up the pork butt so that it would go through the grinder, we first removed the fat cap and put that into our fat side of the trimmings. Meat protein is salt soluble. That's why you mix the water and your spices and salt together into the lean portion, mix it around till it's sticky, which is caused by the protein chaining up in these amino acid chains which surround the fat portions of meat and that's how your sausage sticks together. Now we have our spices mixed. We have our lean meat ground twice. We have our fat meat ground twice through the coarse plate. We're gonna add a little bit of water and mix it. We have had to reduce it from a 100 pound batch to a 11 pound batch because that's the meat we have today and we're going to mix it by hand. A bigger pan would have been handy, but we got the job done. Mix the fat meat into the lean meat little by little until you have a complete mixture. This is our sausage at this point quite coarse. Uh, we're going to run through the grinder one more time. This is the old number one stuffer that we have. Put the meat in there and the plunger plunges it through and it comes out a tube here tube of course has to go inside so it doesn't fall off. It's cast iron. A little hard to clean but it works out. So much easier than stuffing through the grinder which takes a lot more effort. How much casing got left? Stuffing the sausage is a two person job. A pork butt purchased when it's on special and fat scraps that are left over makes for a inexpensive sausage.
So please subscribe, press the like button.